Hello there everybody, it's Mark Watson here. I just wanted to show you something that I got as an upgrade for my DJ rig. Um, before I got this I was using um, a 19 inch rack mount system from CAM. I think I've done a video on it previously, in fact I'm sure I have. But I decided in time that it was due for an upgrade. Um, decided to stick with the 19 inch and I saw this system here from Gemini did some research on it and I thought that it would do the job so this is the upgrade this is the Gemini C EDM C sorry it's the Gemini CDM 3610 and I'm just going to show you it, I've used it once and I re really liked it see there I've just turned it on and basically all it is, is you've got two CD decks mix up in the middle, two channel and that's another C E D J on the other side um, music is loaded in by the front loading trays there um, and I'll just do um, a little show you now input wise I'll just show you the back this is going to be upside down so let me explain got the on off power button there power lead goes in there there's a headphone jack there in the back two balanced XLRs they'd be for your power Powered speakers, I'd guess. Um, inputs for your amp, your master, and your record. Your line input for your CD player. There's um, a ground wire there because you can um, put um, turntables on this as well. Um, just go back, back over here. You see, here there where it says where it says line and phono, you can select there, and you've got two microphone channels there, he did EJ mics the XLR R link. Let's put that back down. Um we use this system once already and um I was suitably impressed with it. Um actual fact I believed it to be better than my old system. Um I've not got it plugged into any sort of audio source so there isn't gonna be a, any sort of audio in output in this one, and I do apologize for that. Uh, we'll be showing you, but I'm just in a later video. But I'll just show you roughly the basic how this works. Because what I've done here is I've put a CD in there, you can see there that it's automatically gone to the first track as usual. Down here, you've got time, single, repeat, and program. Um, single and repeat allows you to just play single, it plays the one track and then stops dead, doesn't keep on go going on, repeat, self explanatory. And with the time button, you can get it to show you how long is remaining, the time of the whole album, or the time of the track that's on. I prefer to ha have it on that one. Um, here, there, look, you've got what your track select. Um, what you do there, so if you press it down and then turn it, you can select, act. and if you press it down, it automatically jumps to the track. Um, jog wheel, similar to the sort of stuff you'd find on your likes of your Pioneer is and that um break and reverse but this is sort of like turntable effects um so self explanatory really um you then got this button here which does q search pitch blend or scratch um q uh depending on what the status of it is it's currently in pitch bend mode illuminated red it's in q and if you have it flashing it's in scratch 
Um, basically self-explanatory, you can just do square hatch motions with it using the jog wheel control. Um, I'll do another video to show oh, that. Um, play and pause, self-explanatory, um, obviously you hit it's it and you're away. Um, Q allows you to queue up to a point in the track manually. Usually flashes red head, but I'm not using it. There we are. Um, obviously, then you've got your mixer, your basic two channel, cross fader in the middle, up faders. Um, there, if, um, if I had this hooked up to the uh, Amp, you've got your indicator there, and here, separate control, old channel one. First three is your EQ, that's a good feature on this one. Does your low, mids, and your highs, um, it's independent and control. And you've got your gain, your overall volume, and then channel one you do CED one or line or phono one. Middle, you've got your or overall master, EQ selector, microphone volume, um, master vo volume, ah. and Q volume, please set my apology, is that the Q volume at, at the top. Same on the other side with the mids, highs and lows. Um, these things go oh, 04 and you've also, this is a clear, I have a little feature as well. You see either the fair A to start in the relay, self explanatory does what, what it says. I mean for the cost of this, this thing goes for around about about three hundred pound for five hundred dollars. But it it's a really you can do really advanced tricks on this and it's a really good bit of kit. Um you know so if you're it if you're a mobile DJ like I am, you know this is just a simple 19 inch rack unit as you can see there it's got the mounting wings on the side but you can do really advanced tricks with this I mean it's not as good as your more advanced pa iron is and that but it gives you the abilities to do those sorts of tricks I mean this was purchased by me really as a backup unit but but um, it's not going to be my backup unit, it's going to be my, my primary unit now. Um, uh, and I would certainly recommend this. I mean, the Gemini I stuff I feel is vastly underrated. They have got some good products in their range. I mean, so this is obviously what my new CDJ system. Um, anyone's got any questions, please feel free to ask. All, all I ask is that you're a spare. Eckful. Um I will be doing some further videos on this, um, but that is my first equipment upgrade that I've made. This is Mark Watson, DJ Wacko from Wacko Entertainments. Um, ha have a good day and look after yourselves.